Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, video. Today we're going to take a look at a benchmarking comparison here between all these phones. Let me go ahead and recap first uh, what phones we have and as far also as the specs. Uh, here is the Moto X. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm doing these guys are from the top of my head, not reading anything. I think it's a 2.3 uh, or 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor 2 gig RAM. Uh, 1080p display. And uh, on the uh, next one, it's uh, the Droid Turbo. Uh, this is a 2.7 gigahertz quad core processor 3 gig of RAM, the new Adreno 805. Uh, 2K screen resolution. Uh, the next one is uh, the HTC One M8. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, 2.5 or no, 2.3, I believe, uh, gigahertz quad core processor, 2 gig of RAM, 1080p display. Uh, the next one is uh, the Samsung Galaxy S5, uh, 2.5 gigahertz quad core processor, 2 gig of RAM, 1080p display. The next one it's a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, 2.7 GHz quad core processor, 3 GB of RAM, 2K screen resolution. Uh, the next one is another Samsung Galaxy Note 4 in white. And this one it's the HTC One MA. I'm sorry, the HTC One Max. I believe it's a 1.7 GHz quad core processor, 1080p display. So we're going to start first uh, with the quadrant test. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start here. All right, and we're getting some more results. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the uh, with the phones that I think it's going to have the lowest score first. I think it's going to be the HTC One Max. So we got uh, 11,986 points. And uh, let's take a look now at the, uh, hmm, uh, I'll say the Moto X. 21,882 points. Uh, next, I will say the HTC One I made. 23,887 points. And next, I will say the S5. 23,665. So it's uh, right there with the M8. Uh, next, it's going to be between the uh, the Droid Turbo and the uh, the Note 4. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's start with the uh, Motorola. 22,941 points. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the Note. 24,202 points on. So, so far, uh, the Note has uh, the highest score, 24,543 points on. So, the highest score was the Note, I believe, after that was uh, between the uh, M8 and the S5. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Anturu benchmark. All right, we're going to start with the Anturu. Uh, just so you guys know, all phones are running in the high performance mode. Uh, with the uh, Motorola, there is no way to turn off uh, any high performance or power savings, so there's just one mode. Uh, on the HTC One M8, also there is no power saving. And uh, all the Samsung phones are running in the high performance mode. Same thing here with the HTC One Max. All right, guys, so we're getting some results. As you guys can see, the Samsung phones uh, finish first, and I think right after the Motorola's. And believe it or not, the M8 is the last one to finish. 
Now that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna have a, the the worst uh, score. Again, I'm gonna start with the uh, HTC One Max, which I think is the slowest uh, processor on all four. I mean, on, on all phones. Uh, let's see here, twenty-eight thousand one hundred thirty-nine points. Uh, let's go next with the uh, uh, Moto X. Uh, 44,295 points and uh, next I'm gonna go with the uh, M8 uh, 42,240 points so the Moto X actually scored higher than this phone uh, next I'm gonna go with the uh, S5 uh, 42,876 points uh, so the S5 and the Moto X, I'm sorry, the X, the X5, the S5 and the HT1 M8 are right there. Uh, the Moto X is the highest right now, and then it comes down to uh, the the Turbo and the Note 4. Uh, on the Turbo, we got a 48,316 points, and on the Note 4, we have. 47,348 points and let's take a look at the other note 47,797 points so guys uh, the winner of this test is uh, the new Motorola Droid Turbo guys I want to thank you for watching this video subscribe for more and I'll see you later